of the best for the country because of the challenges in the system today. Don't put words in my mouth. So that is my question. Did you conduct that, that's it? Let's listen to me. We are not like that. Well, maybe, maybe we don't like have like well. animals. Hello, you're welcome to Head to Head, your non whole bears talk show, where we say it just the way it is, no matter whose ox is God. My name is Eshomomo Imodu, and with me today on the top, I have an interesting personality. He was a former Niger Delta warlord, and presently is involved in a network of activities. One of it is called the Network for Defense of Democracy and Good Governance. I'm talking about General Iberi Papa, also known as Boma Jack Rich. Sir, you're welcome to my talk today. Thank you, bro. Nice to have you here. Yes. Thank you. How many years after you left the creek? Tell us about you. <laughs> it's an interesting thing, bro. It's been, um, you know, I left the creek since 2008. Oh. And then, to the glory of God, after the amnesty, at, in 2009 till date. So I'm just there. I've well, lived the creek for about almost, uh, if not 10 years. And um, it's been, things have been going well. Mm -hmm. Trying to see how we can start a new way of life. You know, you know that we are known to be. Um, Perhaps agitators. I don't know. You people Is it known to be, or really, you were an agitator? I am a freedom fighter, and um, I am I'm proud to be that. But you know, back in the day, we were actively involved in the struggle, in the armed struggle. Yeah, I like that word, defend, armed struggle. In trying to defend our region, mm. you know, from marginalization. Oppression, of course, and, uh, and deprivation, you know. And uh, to the glory of God, we have come this far. Mm. And some of us are making it possible to see that other youths don't indulge in such, um, such, uh, you know, um, activity. For me, the Network for Defense of Democracy and Good Governance, and of course the Kengima Unity Forum. Hmm. Those are the groups you, you run now. Oh yeah, because... Now, I'll, come, I'll come back to those groups, but tell us, uh, while in the creek, while being, when you were the, a, a warlord, you people were used to a certain type of lifestyle. You had the, you were into oil bunkering and you had so much money to support your lifestyle. How are you coping with life outside the creek? It's not easy though. We are trying to, you know, get along. Mm. Yes, while in the creek, we were actually, uh, you know, getting what we want. Because as at that time, you know, we venture into this bunker, like you said, because we believe that it is our resources. Mm. And then, it's our right to handle it the way we want. Mm. If we have such, you know, um, you know, we are that blessed and being impoverished, you know, it is not beautiful. It is not nice. Is it not still your right now? Yeah, it is. But we want to be, believe that the government have come up with this, with this idea of, you know, doing those things we say we are not done, or the government are now, you know, you know, uh, um, putting effort to see how, you know, the Niger Delta, you know, indigenous companies. Because the problems we actually have are the IOCs, you know, because the federal government and the IOCs are JV, mm. you know. So the federal government are not on ground, the catchment area, okay. where the IOCs are operating, you know. So the government are over there in Abuja or in the state. Now, now, these IOCs you're talking about still have sons and daughters of the Niger Delta work with, working with them. Is that not true? Yeah, 
It is. So which means it is a right connivance by your own people mm -mm. against your own people. No, no, no. Now, let me tell you something. The IOCs actually have sons and daughters from the Niger Delta. But what are the meaning of those people who do not have the voice to speak? Some of them For do a, have the voice. No, no, none of them. Let me give you an example. If you are, uh, or you, you are in charge of Shell, for example, and then you are from the West, you are the head, you are the owner, or you are the MD. You came down with your secretary and whatever. And then whoever you employ there are just, you know, under your directives, under your command. They can't no, do no, anything no. else, you know, apart from what you direct them to no, do. No, Nambuchi, you wanted a situation where the command structure of those IOCs will be manned by your own people. Yes. But where in the world is that absolutely possible? No. No, 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 no. We have what you call cashment area. Mm. Of course, I understand what they say about or what they um, call the CSR. It means the corporate social responsibility. Exactly. In there, so much can be defined out. You know, it means that the company has to, on a daily basis, you know, find out the problems affecting the community. Mm. Two, it also means that the com it is the priority of the company to ensure that the communities are living very well because that is the area the oil is being or they are you know they are doing they are you know uh, operating on mm -hmm. and the cashment area needs to be part of the you know development. We don't mm -hmm. only look at the government mm -hmm. and say we want federal government or the state government to develop us. These companies are representatives. Of the government, they are working to pay percentages mm -hmm. to the federal government or mm -hmm. the state government. As you know, now no, 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 there must be an area where the system got it wrong because I understand also when you're signing this deal, when government is signing this deal with these IOCs, they factor into the the host community. But at what point does your own leaders, your own traditional leaders, your own influential leaders go behind? to take advantage of what's supposed to be appropriated for the entire community and appropriated to themselves. You, you know it does, it does happen that way. Yes. So, uh, let, me, let, me, let me tell you also, give you a little light on that. You see, when the government are taking charge, a governor, let's use a governor for instance, mm. is a governor of the state, and then he's taking full control of the state. Mm. For, okay, let me just take your mind now. The, the governor of River State, just place a ban on youth groups. Okay? Now I'm giving this example. Okay. Ordinarily, each community has their monarchs. Mm. These youth activities in the community, in various communities, are, the, uh, uh, are under the directive of the monarchs, of the chiefs. Council or the uh, you know the uh, uh, the traditional uh, and, uh, but, but when it borders on security the government yes that, comes that, in. I, that is why I said you, you should leave me to it is true that the governor is the chief security exactly. uh, security officer of the state of the states. and he would be interested when it comes to when, when it comes to security or insecurity now what I'm saying is that but where the problem comes is but the community monarchs what are their position. If the governor can influence a community monarch, you know, to tell him who to give to be the youth president, is that youth president going to work for the interests of the community? Because they politicize everything. Even the monarchs live in abject fear. Because if the governor, if the monarch comes out to speak what he feels is favorable to his people or his kingdom, and it is not in line with what the governor wants, the governor says he has... You know, you know, you yes, know, the, this, the, uh, this, this, uh, uh, this situation you're painting is not peculiar to the Niger Delta. It is very common. Every, every, all, all, all traditional rulers have influence over their communities. Yes. But also there are certain traditional rulers who take advantage of their various communities and appropriate what should be the communal benefit. That is why, if you, that is why, you know, I'm not a good fast, I'm, I'm not a good talker like you. You just hold on for me to give you the little brief of it. Now, what that you said is the community chiefs or the monarchs going behind is because they are being influenced by the government. So you hold of, the people responsible. No, 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 you don't. Sorry. 
How do you hold the people responsible when, in, in addition, in, the, in that particular state or the uh, 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 area of the state, now the governor of that state or the, the commissioner is saying that whoever does anything will be uh, 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 termed a criminal. So you come out to say, no, what the, uh, your, your traditional rulers are doing is not right. And you come out, they will say, oh, that, that man... So, so, so you so, rather hold... That is the entire a, nation. That hostage. is what we no 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 we no 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 we are not into that. This is a, a 21st century. We, we you know we are you know grow, grow, no, no, far beyond why, that. Why, why uh, I brought that up is because several years after the issue of amnesty for the militants, yeah. you are aware that the Niger Delta is not still as safe as we thought. Especially when you look at election period, you know the like, like what happened in the previous elections in in, in river states. Yeah, the previous uh, election, 2015, uh, the one ju just passed, that brought in um, a week for second term. Me, I don't participate. I did not. Because uh, I'm not interested. I like to be a different politician altogether. Though I saw the, you know, the drama and uh, uh, everything, but I, so, I so wasn't how can it. we? how can we... Uh, uh, make sure that such don't repeat itself. That is what we should look at. You are a former warlord. You, you've operated in this uh, uh, terrain before. What do you think can be put in place? The simple thing is we should learn how to bring leaders that you know, feel the pain of the people. Not people that will come because they are wealthy, they use their wealth, to influence the vote of the people, even when they are not being voted for. They use their wealth to buy, you know, uh, uh, whatever, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, uh, whoever that is the uh, uh, umpire to declare de their name as, um, as governors or as president. That is where the problem comes in. Because once the man is a governor, he has all the powers within him to declare or, you know, uh, uh, make any pronouncement. You know, for instance, I was trying to explain to you what is causing the problems or what might also raise mm. opera. The governor just placed an embargo. He said there should be no youth activity. All youths, you know, everywhere, which is probably everybody accepted. You know, but again, he came back from nowhere and then he said, now he has brought in one Chizoke or something to be the head of uh, 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 to to assuage the youth because what the governor was trying to do actually was to pick cults, you know, people that are cultists amongst the youths because he said, according to him, many people have hide under the guise of youth activities, but they are all cult, you know, cult people, which is true because the cult okay. activity okay. in the state is becoming too unbearable. Um, but now, for General, him to have General, brought... General, let me, let me no, just no, hold no, you. No, we'll come back to... to this. Well, let's quickly go on this break. When we come back, I will still be on with General Iberi Papa to talk about the security challenges in Nigeria. Please just stay with us. not the best for the country because of the challenges in the system today. Don't put words in my mouth. So that is my question. Did you forget that? That's it. Let's listen to me. We are not like that. Well, maybe, maybe we don't have like, like well. animals. You're welcome back. Now, if you just joining us, I've been speaking with General Eberi Papa. He was a Niger Delta warlord then in the creek, and also his name is Soboma Jack Ridge. Now, we left off talking about River State, and let me just bring this in. In 2015, I guess, you were appointed as Katika Committee Chairman of, the local gov of a local government. At what point did you fall out with your benefactor? Fall out? Well, um, of a truth, Yes, in the first tunnel, I was um, um, one of the Kiataka members who served the Asaritori local government mm -hmm. area where a I belong. A reward for you because of uh, your activities in the, in the creek then? I don't think. <laughs> what has the creek got to do with um, politics or governance? No, it wasn't. 
you know, I participated. You know, as way back, I, you know, I have proven competence and um, with a large followers, followership I got. You know, I'm the leader of the Kenya. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Competence, large followership. Yes. So in politics, you need such followership. So let's bring this back so that you can bring in the followers. Oh, and yes, yes. I think that was the real ideology or mm. what informed that uh, for me to be, you know, because I did not bid for it. Mm. You know, it just came. And of course, I did my best. But that is by the way. Mm. I have never fell out with the the governor, he remains the governor of River State. Yes, the governor. Of I, but you become critical of him. I appreciate him. No, the, the only problem is that my style of politics is different from theirs. They are playing a different style of politics that I don't like. You know, I, my kind of politics is that when the government is doing right, I support the government even though I'm a party man and applaud them. Make people understand that the government is doing well. But when the government are doing wrong, I have the right to criticize them. It's because well, now, in this kind of politics they are playing, is that when you criticize the government, you become an anti-government. Mm. And that is what I don't like. I want to have a freedom. You know, because what the people are looking at, are looking at is that this man there is representing us, mm. not the government. But is it possible also it could be associated with what some people say that a very papa, because he was not too compensated, he thought uh, uh, Governor Wiki will compensate him, but he didn't get such compensation, so he started to start fighting him. Well, well, well I, I don't think I've been fighting Governor Wiki. I'm not fighting him. I don't think I can. But the truth is that he knows that I'm a very bold somebody who speaks not minding who. I give you the respect that is needed, you know, because I have to respect, I respect him and I like him so much. But not, that does not mean I will sell my bat right for him. You know, governor is trying. He has done what he can in the urban. Mm. But what about the river line? Mm. The river line that is producing the economy of the state. Mm. As I speak to you, I can confidently tell you that the river line, the Calabari area, is producing over 55% of the revenue of that state. Mm. And such people have been marginalized. There is no visible project. There is nothing to lay your hands on. As, you know, as, as I speak to you, I can tell you to go for a side say, mm. you know, nothing, not, there is no visible project. Anything that they claim that they have done, I challenge them to come and prove. Now, now, now what is it about leaders in the Niger Delta? Every government that comes in, this is the cry of the people. Why is it difficult for the leaders there to touch the lives of the people? Well, the thing is, it's sentiment. That is what I see. Because we call him Mr. Project because we saw visible projects he has been doing or we believe that the promises he's, go he's giving us is going to unfold them mm. or you know, fulfill them rather. But these things are f failing by the day. For instance, how can the governor be, uh, you know, uh, be building roads in Emoa, which is our sister community and we are proud of it. Mm. I thank him for that. With Julius Berger, and then, but the, after MOI, on that the same MOI, is the Calabari area. We are the, where it is coming from. They continue to bring people to pour concrete, and you will see boys carrying shippings, and, you know, that is our own road. And every two, two weeks and one, one month... So, so, so that, is, that, that is what is obtainable in the... Yes, as region. I speak to you, from since the first turn until now, the governor has been innovating the General Hospital of Asanatory Local Government, my, my immediate constituency. It is under... In fact, it is dilapidated. The, uh, he claimed, the governor claimed to dredge 52 hectares of, uh, uh, reclaimed 52 hectares in Abalama uh, and uh, uh, Bakana and others. But what is there, I can tell you that bring your expert to go there. It is not up to 10 hectares. You know, but he's, he told us that he has paid over 70% as at that time. But we confronted the contractor and the contractor made us understand that no such thing. Now, we have security challenges in this country. How do you think, how will you reach this present government in handling security? Well, like I said, it is versatile. You know, because when you talk about Nigeria, you have to start from, your, they say charity begins at home. But what, you know, in general, you know, the, the, you know, the security architecture is not proper. Because I feel that um, uh, there are people trying to, you know, override the security. And, uh, I, and I think Mr. President needs to, you know, you know, look at it very properly 
and then uh, fix that. No, no, there's, there's this common, common language people use. Talk, they talk about, uh, uh, they say the Niger Delta, I mean, the, the Fulani headsmen. And when kidnapping happens in any place, they say the Fulani headsmen. Now, there was a time also it was the Niger Delta militants. Do you think the Niger Delta actually set the pace for these styles of people holding the system to ransom because they want to get something out of the system? Well, uh, first of all, Fulani headsmen and the rest of them, they are myopic. Uh, they are one s particular person. You know, you know, perpetrating this evil act. You know, I I am not ready to you know join issues. For what I understood is that you know a particular set of persons amongst the you know the Muslims, not all of them, not even not even not even the is not even the entire Fulanese that appreciate or that is happy with what is happening. Yeah. So some set of persons have seen themselves. So as, you see it as criminals, yes, not as yes, headsmen. Yes, it, you know, it, it's criminal because, okay, for example, people call themselves headsmen and continue to kill the innocent souls. What kind of, you know, what, what people are they? We they can't come to our area and do that nonsense because when it comes to that area, we are not ready to accommodate that. We are ready to support the president to succeed, but not to give ourselves to these people to come kill. Because when that time comes, that is why I, I said... So far, what I'm seeing is that there are differences. Now, if you talk about the Niger Delta setting the pace for, you know, what is happening in the north or elsewhere. No, 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 no. What Niger Delta actually stood for, actually, if you look at it very well, it is genuine. What are the problems of this Fulani Ensman? They need what to take they, care of their, their heads also. Yeah, the, the, what are the, wait, what are the problems of Ensman who says they prefer cow to human? That is not what we are talking about. Niger Delta has a reason to agitate. They said, we have the oil, yet Abuja is developed. We have this thing that is feeding the nation. Why is it that you don't give us, increase our equity, you know, or the derivation of 13% to perhaps 40 or 50%? Yes, yes. What? No, I just want you to learn. I want to raise you know, issue with no, you. So these are the reasons why we embarked on that, even though some criminal elements you know, I, I came in, you know, because in every 12... Now, now you're talking about the criminal elements that came in. Now, I'm saying that even years after militancy had ended and amnesty granted, people still say even the former warlords have a way of still supporting, would I say the criminality in the Niger Delta, even bunkering, some warlords still have a role they play in there. Well, I, like I told you, we, as well, some of us, like, let me talk for myself now, let me not talk for others. But I believe too well that the same problems I have uh, f facing me is also facing most of them. You know, we have so much followers. And these persons are looking up to us. For us to be able to convince them mm. that you people should not continue with this, you know, style, style of, of violence or going into criminality, is that we are also giving them the opportunity, the room to survive. Mm. Now, if you can, if you say some. Uh, ex-leaders are still getting involved in that, I would say, well... Now, no, no, no. just, just look at this. The Calabari and the Kula waterways are very notorious for kidnapping. Calabari and Kula waterways? Yeah, that's, okay. the, that's, that's the report. Kidnapping is notorious for kidnapping. Okay. Now, you happen to come from, you also from, let's say, this area also? Yes, yes. And you, how are you providing security for this area? Like I said, it is everywhere it is versatile the security when there is insecurity sometimes the governing system are the cause of it they you know they, they mismatch they, you so know, they, justifying criminality because no of... no no god forbid no what i'm saying is that you have to look at the problem the situation from the root cause you don't just have to just because like me for, for, for all the time I've been around, I used to hear once a while, yeah, there are problems, there are no, you know, but when you say it is that, you know, you know, everywhere, I, I think it is not because the governor of River, of River State, mm. to an extent, is trying his best when it comes to security. No, what, 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 what I'm saying is, if there are challenges in your community, have yeah. you come out to say, because I was a former warlord, let me take charge, let me help take charge, nobody can come to operate in my area because I'm still alive. Do you see it that way? 
He said, this, the way you spoke here is very, very commanding. Now, what is a warlord? A warlord isn't somebody who wants to kill his own people. A warlord is someone who will defend his people. And when, the, when some of his people are involved in criminality, a warlord will come out and fish them out. Thank you. Now, you, you, you just said it well. If our people are involved in criminality, of course, you will do that. You will inform the security agencies or you will make people understand that, look, this is it. But remember, this is, we are all being, uh, we are all under the leadership of a government. Mm. And there are some steps you have to take. Sometimes, some of these people being involved in these things are flitted no. into, in, into the, into the General, system. General in, General you know, Papa. In, the, in the system, in the state. Mm. General Papa. And, yes, because you have are to you look at... Are you in sympathy of oil bunkering in the Niger Delta now? Well, I want to believe that right now the federal government has brought in somebody who is of quality, uh, 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 who is competent, and who knows. Are you in support? Excuse Are you me. In I, excuse of me, because initially I would say I feel to, but right now I learned about uh, Abakira, who is now the present uh, um, uh, the boss in the industry, mm. and I want to believe Thank you so that much. such persons no, 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 will no. come and do the needful, and uh, you okay. know, and take everybody along, and that will only curtail that um, uh, area of um, pipeline vitalization. General, General Papa, this is all I can have today on my turf. Thank you so much for being part of it. You're welcome. Now, thank you so much for being part of Head to Head this week. Now, let's make it another exciting moment next week on Head to Head. I remain yours. Eshomomo Imodu. Bye for now. not the best for the country because of the challenges in the system today. Don't put words in my mouth. So that is my question. Did you conduct that, 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 Listen to me. We are not like that. We, we don't, maybe, maybe we don't have like wrong. animals.